channel. Today, let's discuss another important feature that is Microsoft Copilot and how better we can integrate this feature in our Canvas applications or Power Apps. So as we all are aware, AI is getting into picture in each and every aspect of our day to day lives, right? For example, people are utilizing chat GPT like anything nowadays, and even for constructing like emails and uh, getting answers for their most generic questions, right? And similar such feature, even China has been introduced that is deep seek, right? So there is no doubt that AI is going to be our future. Correct. So similar such feature that Microsoft has been introduced that is Microsoft Copilot. And it is available in each and every tool of Microsoft, for example, Power Apps and Power BI and Power Automate and uh, the most basic tools like Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. So each and every uh, tools, Copilot has been present. And what is this Copilot? So Copilot is nothing but a it is an AI powered assistant which will help us create application or analyze our data or increase or enhance user interactions within Power Apps or any other tool available out there, right? So for example, uh, if I need to construct a data, a sample data and input it in any, any input form, right? For example, if I'm adding some data into the world or creating some PPT available out there, right? So I just have to give in my plain, uh, plain language, I just have to give some instructions to the copilot that I need so and so PPT based on Microsoft uh, uh, microwave radars, right? Available out there. So it will just generate me a, a PPT uh, handy for me. So everything is just automated uh, out there. Okay. So for example, if I'm inputting any input form, okay. And in that input form, if I want to add some data specific to the specific to any specific organization. So I can just tell the copilot saying that give me a sample data of so and so organization and it will generate you a full length of uh, sample data, which you can just copy and utilize in your input forms. Okay. So similarly, we can uh, add the uh, like we we ask some questions to chat GPT, right? Similar such questions we can ask to copilot as well, and it will give us the most generic answers and suggestions out there. Okay. And we can automate many tasks as well. For example, if I'm building a uh, power app, okay, I can just instruct it to create, okay, I want to create a leave management system or else I want to create an event management system, right? So if I just type in such plain instructions to it, it will generate a sample body of the application for me, which I can utilize and get my project started with. Okay. So that's how uh, Microsoft Copilot, uh, you know, uh, performs its actions and uh, let's see how we can better integrate this Copilot into the Canvas application so that this AI powered assistant is readily available for the end users to use it. Okay. So let's see how better we can integrate it. So as you can see my screen, this is a Copilot studio. Okay. Here we can build a lot of agents and we can customize it as per our needs. We'll see how we can build such agents in our coming upcoming videos. Okay. So today let's discuss how we can integrate it into our power apps. Okay. As you can see my screen. So this is one of my application. Okay. Which is open in direct mode. Okay. And this is in the play mode. As you can see currently, uh, this is, uh, I, have, I haven't added anything to my canvas and we can see so and so options available there, right? Here you can see the maximize option in the gear icon. So let's see how we can enable the copilot. So I'm clicking on this three dots, going to the settings, clicking on the copilot. And from here in this drop down, all my uh, agents or copilots, which I have built in my uh, environment, it will be available out here. And I can select any one of them. And I can just say close after that, after selecting one. Okay. And I'll just say save and publish this. Okay, have published this. So as you can see my screen, so currently there's only few op options available out here, right? I'll just go ahead and refresh this. As you can see, there's one more option available now, right? With this icon, this is an icon of Copilot. Okay, if you click on this, 
my copilot will open up and uh, i'll directly make it of use okay i'll click on this and my copilot is available here with the title and i can type any questions based on the customizing which i have added to my copilot all those answers will be listed down over here okay and this is just one way to do it okay for example we'll also have a requirement to integrate this copilot into the screen right not only over here for example people or end users will not understand this icons okay this earlier it was present and now it is not present like that they will not identify right so they'll directly want those copilot into the screens okay so to enable that there is a setting actually so how we can enable that is firstly we have to go click on this gear icon and go to the admin center from here okay admin center of power apps and from here we have to select our environment first okay we have to go to the environments and we have to select the environment where we need to enable it for if you see there's a gear icon here that is settings and we have to go to the features okay And under these features, if you see the first option that says Copilot, okay, we have to enable this toggle always, okay. We have to enable this toggle, and there will be a, this de, uh, drop down available, okay. Generally, it will be in the off state. You have to turn it on, okay. Click on the drop down and turn this on, okay. So our feature will be turned on in our uh, applications, so that we can integrate a component directly into the forms or screens of the Power Apps, okay. And after that, after making this change, you can just click on save, okay, and directly come to the power apps in the edit mode, okay. And here, if you see, go to the insert, currently we will not see that icon available, okay. So we have to click on this uh, add settings again, and under the settings, we have to go to the updates, and here we have to go to the preview tab. Under the preview tab, if you can see, this is the copilot component, right. And uh, we have to make sure this copilot co component is turned on and this edit in copilot studio is also turned on. And if you see in the below app copilot, so all these three things, we have to make sure that these are turned on for us to add this copilot component into our uh, canvas applications. Okay. So if you see the, currently my copilot is not available here, even though if I go and search, right, it is not listed down. So if I just turn off this and I'm just turning it on. Okay. So sometimes when you make the save right in the environment settings, quickly it will not come up over here. You might have to refresh your uh, application again and come back to this. Okay. And even though if copilot option is not uh, coming for you, you just turn this off and turn this on. Okay. This option will come up for you. So now if I go ahead and click on insert icon here, okay, just directly insert icon, my copilot preview option is available here, right? So I'll just click on this. Okay, so basically, generally, it will ask us to add a data source first. So we can add uh, any Microsoft data was data source as well. For example, I'm adding this accounts for now. Okay, so as you can see, my corporate component has been added for me. So I can customize this a bit. For example, if I go to the properties, I'll give some black background to this. And here is my copilot. Okay. So for this, if I want to modify and customize this, we can directly click on this edit one, edit copilot. It will uh, ask us either you want to create a new copilot or you want to use the existing same with the help of the same uh, data source of the accounts. Okay. And you can save this and publish so that you can utilize in your canvas applications. Let me go ahead and refresh this now. version is yet to come okay so 
So as you can see, my corporate component has been added successfully to my Canvas app, right? And we can, as I, as I said, we can customize it based on our needs. So currently, if I my data source is accounts, so it will uh, provide the answers based on the accounts, data source, whatever is available. Okay. Okay. Uh, very well, guys. I hope this uh, video finds you well and it will help in your projects. Okay. If you liked it, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And going further, I'm going to make more videos how to customize and create custom copilots so that we can learn about the copilots more going further. Okay. Thanks a lot.